Oliver was an unexpressive person, really. He was a farmer's son, and he worried about poor people. He had picked up uh, what was happening in substance abuse, alcohol, tobacco, uh, drug abuse. And uh, he began to feel that he could make an important contribution in New Hampshire on these subjects. He had particular ideas about it. And at some point, he talked to the Charitable Foundation. He wanted an aggressive organization that would advocate for people. Uh, he was concerned that the state was selling liquor and providing no monies for alcohol rehabilitation. The foundation convened a broad advisory group which led to an ambitious range of initiatives, including grant making, innovative collaborations, primary research, and relentless advocacy. Oliver's gift to the foundation represents the second largest fund in its history, totaling over $40 million to establish the major funds that are part of the foundation's substance use disorders portfolio. He asked for anonymity during his lifetime, which we kept. The Attorney General sat on our board and he once told me uh, if he knew who the donor was, he would go up there and give him a hug and a kiss.